you guys and gals haven't got a chance to yet, check out my OnlyFans. I'll have a link in the description down below. I have daily content and it's a ton of fun. I'll see you there. Hey guys, how's it going? It is Fangs. <laughs> I totally sound like a man right now. I have been sick for what seems like two months now. When you have children, they get you sick. I don't know how many different kind of colds there are. I've tested for coronavirus. <laughs> Never had it somehow, but I've had every single cold. I hope you guys are doing good. As you can see from the title of the video, I got a new tattoo. Now it's on my arm, so I'm going to keep it down here below. Um, but before we get started with that, I am doing like these 12 videos in a row of Christmas. I'm thinking of doing giveaways in each one of the videos. So this one's going to be a $25 gift card. If you guys want a chance to win that, you got to be able to be subscribed or not be able just do it. Be subscribed, like this video, and then put hashtag 25 in the comments down below. Um, but anyway, I just want to show you guys a little bit of what I got up to this weekend before we get started. My weekend was, you know, full of woods and stuff and different things that we did. Um, let's see what we've got here. I've got a tattoo. So I was trying to think of things I could do um, that I feel like I'm going through like all this grief and all this emotion and I have to have different ways to deal with it. And um, for me, a lot of it is like sharing and looking back and, you know, um, just wanting to do things that make me remember my dad. And if you're ever going through grief or anything like that, you probably, people do it differently, but um, I knew I was going to get this ring that had, uh, I have his ashes because he was cremated. Um, and so I was going to get a ring that had like a little bit of his ashes in there and you might find that morbid and some people might find that, but I felt like it was like where I could have him and he could go everywhere with me type of thing because we took him on a lot of trips and stuff anyway. Um, but there, there was something else that I thought about and um, I was like, you know what, I'd like to get some kind of tattoo. I don't have many tattoos. I have this one right here. My cat too. The first one I ever got. And I was like, I don't, I don't want a lot of tattoos, but for some reason I feel like if there's something there, then I can like look down and look at it when I'm in these like moments where I'm, you know, trying to push through the waves of, uh, of grief. And so I'm sorry if I sound like this. <laughs> I decided I need to get one, but I didn't know what I wanted to get until I had a really bad day, like a really bad day. Um, and I was just wanting to look at my dad's phone. I have his phone and I'll never get rid of the number like ever. And so I was looking for, it. I couldn't find it. So I was like, I'm going to call it thinking it would ring, but I guess I hadn't charged it. So it was dead and it went straight to his voicemail. And that was the first time I heard his voicemail since he passed away. And so I like broke down and it was just really hard and difficult. And I, I was losing it. I just went in my closet cause I don't want to like put my burden on my husband and my kids. And so I'm just like, Bleh. and um, I started looking like up in my closet for this hat that I wanted to wear because I wear beanies like all the time, beanies and hats all the time around the house. And I don't know where this thing came from. It had to have come in the move. It's from so long ago. Maybe like somehow it just got like put in something in the move, but it's like this like Bleh! thing just came down out of nowhere in this yellow letter opened, which I'm going to read it off my phone because I'm actually having it framed right now. Um, and it was just like a sign almost for my dad and I, I, I'll read it to you guys actually right now. Let's see right here. I don't know if you guys can see what it looks like. It's like this yellow. No, it's just going to be shiny. Wait, let me go close. Boom. Looks like that. And it says <clears throat> from 1999, this is August the 14th. Dear Jessica, don't know why he did that. Cause he never called me Jessica, but probably, I don't know. Um, it says, well, I hope everything is going well. I wasn't living with him at this time. I lived with my mom. So um, that's why he's writing me letters. He used to write me letters. Hope everything is going well and you are back with your friends. You should be starting school this weekend and I know you're ready and you're going to study real hard and you are going to work on your dreams of becoming a superstar <laughs> in sports. Um, 
But most of all, you're going to make your dad proud. Jesse, you know if you ever are having problems, I will help you no matter what. He writes in cursive, so that's kind of hard to read, I know. Um, you're, if you ever have problems, I'll help you no matter what. What I love, or, no matter what, I can't even, t I love you with all my heart. No father could ever love a daughter as much as I love you. And no matter what happens in your life, I will always be there for you. I wish your brother could understand he still has time to get his life back on track if he would just let me help him. <laughs> That's so sad because my brother was having a, lot, like, a hard time that time. That's why I want you to know I'm here for you no matter what. It might not be the way you want, but in time, it will all work out. And that was just weird to me in the first place because that's kind of like how it is now. Like, it's, it's like he was saying that to me now because he will always be there for me no matter what. Like, he's going to be in my heart and it might not be the way I want physically, but it'll all work out and hopefully we'll see each other in the end. So that was like a big thing. Um, here's a few shirts for school. Remember to wash them in cold water um, or warm water and don't dry them. Otherwise, they will shrink. Which I did all the time. <laughs> I did that all the time. I will send more in September and I will send your boots um, in a few days. I'm working on them for you. Well, I've got to go. I love and miss you. Love always, Dad. And um, you can, I don't know if you can see what it looks like here. If I can get close enough to the love always, it's probably not going to focus. Let's see here. You know what? No. I'll just put a picture of it like right here. So you can see where it says love always, Dad. My dad wasn't like a T1 speller by any means. Um, he dropped out of school in like high school and he ended up starting his own business. And so he was very, very common sense smart, very smart and amazing in general. But when it came to spelling, not so much. I mean, he came from Germany, so English wasn't even the first language that he started with, but I always just like auto corrected him. I knew, so I didn't care about that. So when I went to get the tattoo, the guy saw that and he goes, well, do you want me to take the other L out? I could do that. And I was like, no, absolutely not. We're not going to do that um, because that's how I remember my dad. And that is like, that's him for me. Boom. And that is my new tattoo. I mean, I thought about getting my kids called him Poppy and I might do this at some point. I thought about getting like a poppy flower underneath it because he was also born in August and that's like one of August's flowers. But I didn't know how bad it was going to hurt. My first one hurt really bad for me. I'm a wuss. But they say that's because it was on this part of my wrist, which is bad. This one, I didn't, it didn't hurt at all. It didn't hurt at all. I'm like so happy about it. And I can always just look down there. And if I'm feeling bad, I can just see that. And you guys have no idea. Like it makes my heart just melt. So I got two tattoos now. I don't know if I'll get any more. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. But like I was saying, I want to try to upload like 12 days in a row. I've been so bad about uploading and things. So I'm going to work on that and hopefully maybe do some like 12 days of Christmas giveaways. I know the 12 days of Christmas is after Christmas, but I'm doing it before. So that is going to be it for this video here today. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy it. My next video, I think might be a Q and a just kind of depends on how things work out. If you guys want to ask me a question, uh, go ahead and put that in the comments down below and don't forget to put the hashtag 25 if you want to win that $25 gift card. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.